Because yoga is so beneficial in many other ways than solely on our yoga mats, this week on Yoga with Paige, we are having a work yoga week. If you're interested in hearing about the benefits of adding mindful practices into your workday, make sure to tune into tomorrow's video. But today, we are discussing seated postures that you can do every single day, basically a quick little yoga routine that you can do daily to improve your health without ever having to leave your desk. So whenever you're ready, we can begin. these postures kind of flow one to another, but it's not really a yoga flow, just simple stretches. You can take one at a time, a few at a time, or do this whole sequence once or twice through to really open up and warm up the spine, the chest, and the hips, the areas that get compressed the most as we sit for prolonged periods of time. So, Scoot to the edge of your seat. Take a moment to just notice where you're at today. Maybe you want to close the eyes and help yourself find a little bit more connection there. And then on your next breath in, we raise the arms up. Make sure you have enough room by your desk. Interlace the fingers, drop the shoulders down, but turn the palms so they face up towards the ceiling. So just holding here for one breath, really finding length in the arms. Maybe we're already feeling a nice stretch there. Keeping the shoulders a little bit down, just being careful to not hike them up by the ears like this. The name of the game is decompressing here. And on your next exhale, we take a slight little side bend to the right. So take the hands over to the right as we kind of peek up at the sky towards our left arm, keeping the chest nice and open. And then gently return back to center. And on your next out breath, bend to the left. And keeping your hands interlaced, return back to a neutral spine and find some rib rolls. So taking the chest out in front and then circling it around. This is more, we can loosen the hands if they're getting a little tingly, if we're losing some sensation, we don't want that. But you can grab hold of the wrists as well. So we are imagining that we are drawing a string from our ribs or from our abdomen to make these circles. Focusing on opening through the spine, finding some mobilization there. Can kind of go one way and then the other. This movement is pretty intuitive, so find what your body is craving here right now. A few more breaths here. Maybe add in a little bit of play to your day. And then whenever you feel nice and warmed up, you can release the arms to the sides, finding a neutral spine. Make sure you're on the edge, edge, edge of your seat and you have room to the side of you. We're gonna spread the legs apart, coming into a nice seated goddess pose. So toes pointing out to the corners, lift up, inhale, nice long spine. So we're drawing a big line from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head. First, noticing the openness of the groins here, one breath. And then we're reaching up on your inhale and exhale, keeping the palms facing forward, bend the elbows, coming into cactus arms, really drawing the elbows down as we lift the chest upwards, big spreading wide between the fingers, drawing the scapula together. This is a full body posture here, a few breaths. Let yourself release any muscular tension, maybe any mental tension that we've accumulated throughout the day so far. 
Finding nice, big, full breaths. On this next inhale, try to reach the chest up a little bit more. So really press through the feet. Take the hands behind you, a slight little back bend. And exhale, let the fingertips rain down to the thighs. As we draw the knees back in together, making sure you have ample space. I'll kind of turn to the angle so you can see me. Plant the left foot, cross the right leg over the left, your opposite hand, so your left hand finds your right knee. Right leg on top, left hand to right knee. Okay. And then reach the right arm overhead, big stretch. So kind of use this opposition here to like pull yourself and find what feels good. Maybe we're feeling this stretch on the side of the ribs, or maybe we're feeling it more down in the lower back, the obliques area, maybe the upper shoulders. We want to reach back and open the chest some more. Whatever feels good to you. Two more breaths. And then gently lifting back up, but keeping your legs crossed, coming into a little seated eagle. So if you can, wrap this top leg even further around, or we can just stay with our legs crossed. But now we're going to open up through the upper back. So this right arm that was over your head draws down in front of the chest, and you take the left, scoop it underneath. Try to ravel your arms so the palms can meet, but if they can't, we can reach for the shoulders or just stay wherever they go whatever is accessible to you remembering that our focus our awareness should be on the upper back as we round let you're sending your scapula out through the back kind of tucking your chin lifting the arms up notice how that feels slightly moving the hands up and down Finding your last breath in your seated eagle before coming to the other side. Gently unraveling everything on your next exhale. Plant the right foot and cross the left leg over. Oof, maybe hearing any cracks <laughs> as we do that. Right hand comes to the left knee. Left arm shoots overhead. As we reach for the sky, reach for all your goals and dreams. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Trying to tune out any distractions, any background noise we may hear. Coming into your time here in your chair. Beautiful. And then making your way into your seated eagle pose. Raveling just to the point where it feels comfortable, especially if we're in some work attire or if our space does not allow for a proper movement. Any opening is better than no opening at all. So wrapping the right arm underneath the left and finding your version of eagle. Really fill the lungs with this next breath. Big inhale. Let the belly become big and expanded. And then exhale, release. And we can slowly, carefully unravel yourself. Plant both of the feet back on the ground. Hands come to the knees for a little seated cat-cow. Inhale, draw the chest upwards, finding a little back bend. 
And then exhale, round, tucking the chin in. Letting the hands float along with your movements. And making sure to move with your breath. Finding one more round. Before coming back to neutral spine, we meet here. You probably are going to want to be on the edge of your seat for this next one, especially if you have weird armrests in your way, like I do. So turning to the side so you can see me. This one won't take up too much space, but plant the left foot kind of at an angle on your chair, coming into a quadricep stretch on the right foot. So if you have something to grab onto the chair or your armrest, that might help you as we reach for the right ankle and just work on sending that right knee down. So trying to find length in the front of the thigh, see what you need to do to feel that stretch here, to press through this left foot, just find a little opening, pulling that foot, that right foot into the buttocks. Just one breath. We're essentially undoing this sitting position. This one probably feels really good. And then gently keeping hold of that ankle, bringing the foot kind of into the chest. So we can stay right here, just reaching the shin up as you ground down through the left foot. Bring your chest close to the leg, feeling this kind of in the outer glute, the outer thigh. This also might be a good time to kind of roll out the ankle, working through any of those areas you may need. Finding any hand placement that feels good. We're gonna have to experiment a little. And exhale, plant that foot back down, turn to the other side, and find your quadricep stretch. Remembering that this does not have to look exactly like mine. These are not even traditional, really, yoga poses. We're just finding new innovative ways to move in small spaces. So don't judge yourself if it doesn't look like mine. You might even have a better setup, a non-rolling chair. Just focusing on opening up. Really pull that left ankle into the hips, last breath. And then gently shift your weight and cradle it out. Cradle. This one especially will look different on every body. And maybe we just want to plant the foot on top of the thigh and kind of reach forward. It is the same stretch. I just invite you to find some funness in your day. Create some Maybe rock around a little bit. Make people wonder what you're doing if they can see you. <laughs> and lovingly release that left foot back down to the ground. Preparing to end our quick little practice with some spinal twists and neck rolls. So one breath for each twist. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, right left hand comes to the right knee and twist. Maybe grabbing a hold of the chair. Inhale, find length. And exhale, twist to the left.
And feel free to raise the arms too if you want to. Get some more blood flowing back in the fingers and the wrists. And add some more rounds if you want to. Like I said, make this practice your own. Each body is unique. Listen to what it's telling you. But when you're ready, just releasing some tension in the cervical spine, the base of the skull, finding just gentle neck circles. First, tucking the chin in, still sitting up nice and tall. And rolling the head to the right side, feeling the left side of the neck open. So we reach the head behind, opening up our throat chakra, nice communication center, coming back around to the left and tucking. Then going the opposite way. Maybe doing some half circles. And if you want a deeper stretch in the side of your neck, you can extend the arm out to the side. And usually this helps kind of extend that line of stretch like all the way down to the arm. I do recommend adding this in when you're finished with your neck circles. Find one breath or two breaths to extend your stretch. And now that we feel nice and open, we can end this practice with a few moments of inner connection. Coming back to the breath, coming back to you before you get back to your responsibilities, your other roles. Notice how you feel right now after taking a few minutes for yourself. I thank you so much for joining me today and giving yourself a little self-care. So I hope you can implement these stretches into your routine, whether in conjunction together or separately by themselves, and find ways to feel better, feel more connected throughout your workday. Let me know how it went for you down below. And don't forget to check out tomorrow's video on the benefits of all of these desk office practices. Until we meet next time, have a beautiful rest of your day.